Welcome to our newest video regarding emerging technologies in Flash. And one of the stuff that I wanted to talk about today was about a new release that Adobe just came out with this week, which is called the Wallaby technology. And it's free right now. It's kind of a early adoption mode. And I really encourage everyone that works with Flash to test it out because it's very, very, very cool. So let's see it in action before we talk too much about it. And basically what the Wallaby technology enables you to do, it enables you to take your Flash animations without any code. There's basically, you could use the stop code and that's about it. Without any code, you could basically take your Flash animations and automatically convert them from Swift files to be HTML5 compliant, which means you'll be able to render them on browsers that don't support Flash, such as an iPad or an i other something that's Apple's that doesn't support Flash. <laughs> um, all right, so let's let's look at it in motion. There's a few limitations that you need to know about. So I, I created quickly a small little banner, and this banner really all it does. I tried to make it a little complicated. And again, you can't use classes, you can't use code. You have to do everything on your timeline. In this animation, I actually created a complex animation, relatively speaking, that tried to encapsulate everything we have here. So first of all, we have your some. Uh, it's not really copy, we have your actually just like, just vectors, it's a vector of copy, and we have on the layer that's actually a mask layer, if we double click on it, it's a movie clip, and in that movie clip there is a, there are two classic tweens, classic shape tweens that open up, which are supposed to create our animation, and then we have our logo, which is a movie clip as well, and it has two animations going on, one, there's an external kind of motion tween on it, and inside of the movie clip itself, after a few seconds, or after about two and a half seconds, the glasses of our new logo will shake a bit. And on top of that, we have uh, just a few static assets, and really that's, that's it. And in the end frame, frame 70, we're actually stopping. That's the only code that we're really using, and currently is the only code that is really supported. And if we run our, our banner, our banner is really a simple, hopefully cute banner that's presenting our new logo. Now, it's kind of stuck in an endless loop here, so we definitely probably would want to fix that. So this stop is kind of irrelevant because it's stopping our main animation from going on, but we still have a movie clip right here, that, and movie clips have their own timeline. So I would have to double click into that movie clip, open up a new layer here, we'll call it AS, and we could Put here another keyframe and go into our actions panel and add here a stop. Well, that was a silly bug, but we got that sorted out. So now our application should stop when our banner is completed. All right, so we have our Wallaby sample. Now we could actually take this banner that we created that's not using any action script and we deliberately created an animation that uses both shape tweens and motion tweens and we have your mask as well. And there's movie clips and inside of the movie clips are animation deliberately to try to show the technology and to try to show its limitations. Now, what you could do is you could drag into the Wallaby preview and if you don't have the application, just come to our uh, our website and just find the link on our website or just do a Google search for Adobe Wallaby and all you really have to do is just grab the Swift that you want to change or you could grab a whole directory and it will actually loop through and find every FLA file inside and start converting them but in our case we just want to take our Wallaby sample one so I'm just going to drop it inside of our preview panel and I'm going to click on convert when I click on convert because this application and I'm just going to give it a location it's going to be inside of our output it's going to be inside of our output. That's fine. We're going to replace it because I already did it before. We're going to see that this one, even though our Wallaby sample is, has been created successfully and it didn't give us any warning this time around, but if we go into our browser and we actually render our application, we're going to see that there is an issue, right? It's maybe not very easy to, to, to catch, but there's actually a couple of issues. One, the issue is we're not seeing this animation anymore. We're only seeing our first animation. And the second issue, which we don't have any control of right now, and hopefully this is just a bug in the current version of, of Wallaby, is that sometimes some of the content doesn't really come through. So even though this, you know, if we refresh it again, it's going to be here. If I refresh it again, it won't be. I don't know if it's because of Wallaby or maybe because of our browser, but hopefully at some point uh, these issues won't happen. And if we go back to our, our Flash, the reason is, is because Wallaby doesn't support masks. 
So actually we created another version and this other version is really the basically the same thing only we're not using any mask instead of using a mask. So obviously really complicated animations you wouldn't be able to use with this but as long as you're not using a mask you could create use your application using Wallaby using and instead of that just take my second sample and just paste that in there convert it put it into my output folder and run it one more time go back to my browser and again by the way if you're running this in a browser that doesn't support HTML5 like the current Firefox 3 which I have in my application then you wouldn't be able to see anything but because I'm running this in Safari Safari is WebKit based which is very similar to the way the iPad and the iPhone have their browsers so so it's working but you have to be sure that if you actually if you watch this in a browser that doesn't support it's just going to be funky and this is it this is how you work with Wallaby it's that simple and I encourage everyone that uses flash to jump over check Wallaby it's really new and really easy to work with because you're if you're already doing flash then what's you know that's great that you could say now that you could also do HTML5 without actually learning too much new things new features and creating this HTML is actually quite complicated if you look at the source of the files that the Wallaby that the Wallaby files creates there's a lot of files going on in here and we just created something very very simply and instead of using this really complicated structure that HTML5 kind of lends itself when we're doing animations and CSS and that covers it so if you need the links uh, come on to everythingfla.com check it in our lab section and or just do a search on our search for Wallaby on our website and you'll find the links related.